Hello guys, it's been a long time since I made video for Adobe Animate. So, today video, I will show you guys on a very basic, uh, a very basic thing in Adobe Animate on how you can get started with it. Uh, and then, uh, specific, specifically uh, for this video, I will choose a uh, action screen, but I will make another video uh, regarding HTML5 canvas, which is this one. You are going to use a JavaScript instead of action screen. So let's get that. Uh, let's get started with action script first, and then instead of what I'm going to choose as a uh, advanced and choose action script, or better using Air for desktop or Air for Android. Uh, just uh, whatever you want because the process is the same, basically. All right, so let's create. Okay, the first thing that I want to show you is about our timeline. So if you can see over here, we have our frame over on top of our screen so uh, first of all I want to show you guys how you can access or how you can use this frame uh, if you're familiar with, familiar with animation uh, let me show you something about animation over here so okay uh, I want you to select all and group it Control G right click and convert to symbol first choose movie clip all right and then i'm going to choose or, or i'm going to click on frame 20 and i hit f6 and then it will create a keyframe over here so uh, let me undo it okay uh this one you can create by using f f6 to create a keyframe this is shortcut key, or you can right click and insert blank keyframe. Okay, instead of using blank keyframe, I'm going to choose convert to keyframe over here. All right, and then you have keyframe over here. I'm going to, uh, on your keyframe, I'm going to select my box over here and drag it here. And then right click on in the middle of your frame and create classic twin so you have a uh, what we call it animation okay let's say i'm going to create another layer and call it as3 which is, is going to be our script layer and then i'm going to go until here all right and after this I'm going to create another frame over here, insert frame, I mean insert keyframe, blank keyframe, and then I'm going to create another box, let's color it with green, and then in here I'm going to create a keyframe, group it, oops, okay before I I create a keyframe I want to make sure I convert it to symbol first movie clip all right and then here I create a keyframe and then move it around clear create classic twin all right so now you have two different animation but uh, this is the basic stuff so uh, I want uh, we click on this box. Oh, okay. Uh, let me rephrase my word. Uh, I want to make sure it will play until here. And if I click on this box, only after that, it will play this, this animation. Okay. Uh, I will suggest to use this, this method because it will look cleaner. Okay, 
let's create another layer and call it as a label. All right, and then uh, let's go for the first stuff first. Uh, we want this animation to stop over here. So in AS3 layer, click on the frame and create a blank keyframe. Inside the blank keyframe, right click and click action and just put stop. And when you play, uh, to test your movie clip, you can just uh, press Control Enter. So it will stop in this frame, which is uh, frame 20. And then I want to click over here and it will play another frame. Okay. What I will uh, teach you is uh, label your frame. So over here we have a first animation. So I put first and then okay, first and then the second animation was in here. So I press F7 uh, for blank keyframe and then put second. All right. And over here, so we already create a movie clip, but uh, I wanted to make a button over here. So what I'm going to create is over here, convert to symbol and make as a button. So Right now, I have a button. Let's name this button as uh, uh, my button first. Alright, so now we have uh, a button that have a name of my button. So let's go to the action script over here. F9. And then let's reference our button. So my button dot add event listener. Okay, so now we uh, we already reference our button over here, and then the event that we wanted is click event. Actually, mouse click event, mouse click. I'm not sure mouse. Mouse event, I guess. Yep, mouse event dot click. Okay, and give our event name as uh, this is going to be your function name. So, uh, go to other scene, put semicolon, and then create a function name. Go to other scene, and then. This is event All right. And then oops. And then just simply add go to and stop. And then put your label here. So uh the label was second All right. So when you play, okay. Access undefined property my button. The reason is because uh, the button was inside the movie clip. So uh, basically the compiler cannot find where my button was uh, been placed. So you need to reference it as a, a uh, you need to call it by movie clip first. So we need to reference our movie clip. Give it a name. Maybe my clip. And then inside this, you need to add my clip dot my button. All right. So when I click over here, it will play on the second uh, second animation. But there's a problem. Our animation was not playing, and the reason was because 
we are calling go to and stop instead of go to and play so let's go to go to and play so when i click it will go to and play but there's another problem it repeat itself automatically we don't want that so uh lights it, it is same uh it is same with our first animation so we just need to put keyframe over here and then we just need to put a stop over here so when you play it will stop and not repeating all right that's uh, that was the first part which is uh, navigate between frame uh, how about you want to navigate navigate between scene okay uh, we have one scene over here let's create another scene where is my scene all right we have seen but my okay this so we have second scene so let's this is second scene all right and then what i'm going to do is in here i'm going to put another button so convert the symbol as a button okay for this one you don't need to you can directly call the button because we are not putting it inside the movie clip so this button this ptn Alright, so inside here, we put this btn dot add event listener. mouse event dot click add the scene. So call our uh, create our function name other scene type of event void because uh, this will not return anything all right and then go to and stop so our scene name was scene 2 and then we need to pass another parameter which is the frame so our frame is 0 okay looks like uh, okay uh, we need to pass the frame first and then our scene name scene 2 Alright, so when you try, second scene, okay, it's not working because, uh, scene 2, okay. That was correct. This button. It should. 
Okay, looks like it's not going to the uh, our second scene. Let's see why. Let's change it to like the first one we did. Okay. We have uh we have array over here, so it should be like hit like this. Oh, right. Okay, the problem is we need to pass, uh, it's not zero, we need to pass uh, frame it as one. So the reason why is because uh, the frame was start at one. And we can actually pass uh, the frame if you want to jump the frame. So let me create another keyframe over here. So the frame was start at five. So, this is second scene, frame number five. So, you can see the difference here. So, let's see. Let's see what happened if I choose five. So, it will jump directly to our frame number five. So, this. Okay, and uh, that's all for basic.